In this tutorial, we will learn about feature extraction in images using segmentation and edge detection. So, we will use an as, as an example the image uh, parrots1.bmp that we have here, over here. So, yeah. so, let us first read the image. We'll use the IM read function with which we've used many times before. Parrots one dot BMP. So we've read the image in the variable I. Let us see how it looks first. Okay. So this is how this image looks like. Parrots one dot BMP. Now we will try uh, extracting the edges in this image. So that is the essence of uh, feature extraction. So we have two filters, the Sobel filter and the Canny filter. So first of all, let us use the Sobel filter. Say I1 equals to edge. This is the MATLAB inbuilt uh, function for your uh, edge detection. I comma first of all you will use the Sobel filter I1 right let's have another uh, variable I2 and we will use the canny filter in that all right so there we go so we have I1 and I2 let us see how they look like. First of all, we'll see uh, I1. So, so here it is. We use the edge function and the Sobel filter to find out the edges in parrots, parrots one dot BMP image. Let us see how the canny filter works. See I2 over here. There we go. So this is the difference. So if we see all of them together, uh, we have this one with the canny filter. We have this one with the Sobel filter, and this is our original image. Palace for not BMP. Yep. So this is how we extract edges out of images. This is a uh, feature extraction. Feature uh, extract. Okay, now that we've learned about uh, edge detection, let us move ahead to uh, Radon transformation. Okay. So, uh, first of all, we'll build uh, a dummy image to see what exact Radon transformation does. We'll put in some white space in this. Okay, so we built a very simple image in which uh, which is hundred uh, by hundred pixels uh, high and wide, respectively, and uh, pixels forty to sixty in both the x and the y axis are one that means they're white okay so let us see how this image looks like so uh, this is what this image looks like now let us uh, apply the radon transformation now what the radon tra radon transform does is that <coughs> it computes the projections of an image matrix along specified directions okay so here we go, here we have the image. Now we will use the Radon transformation on this image. Radon 1, 0. So 
this is what the Radon transformation did. It gave us the plot of, uh, it gave us the projections of the image in a specified direction. Right. So this was about feature extraction using segmentation and edge detection. Okay, after this, uh, we'll come to the inverse Radon transformation. We'll follow the presentation from here on. Now, inverse uh, Radon transformation, the, that is the I Radon function that the MATLAB provides us to use inverse Radon transformation. It, it inverts the Radon transform and can therefore be used to reconstruct images. Now, I Radon reconstruct, reconstructs an image from parallel beam projections. Uh, okay, this is function p equals to photo of a phantom uh, def comma n. It generates an image of a head phantom that can be used to test the numerical accuracy of Radon and I Radon and other two dimensional reconstruction algorithms. So this is a, a code which can be used uh, to see the output of the inverse Radon transformation. When this is applied, this is what we get. Uh, now there's also a section in uh, feature extraction which is called the marker controlled watershed segmentation. Now separate touching objects in the image is one of the more difficult image processing operations. The watershed transform is of often applied to this problem. Uh, these are the steps which are used in marker control watershed uh, segmentation. Step 1 would be read the color image and convert it into grayscale. Step, step 2 would be use the gradient magnitude as a segmentation function. Step 3 would be mark the foreground objects. Step 4 would be compute background markers. Compute the watershed transformation uh, transformation of the segmentation function. This would be step 5. And step 6 would be visualizing the result. So if we use uh, a simple image, let's say this, the carriage dot uh, JPEG. This image, when uh, it is subjected to marker control watershed segmentation, this is what we get. We can see uh, almost different carrots separately. We have done the segmentation using uh, marker sh controlled uh, watershed technique so this is about uh, marker controlled watershed uh, watershed segmentation